An update tonight on a story you saw exclusively on Local 10 of random shots fired in a quiet neighborhood. Home surveillance cameras catching it all once again just weeks later. And several homeowners sharing similar footage of shots being fired multiple times at two cars that sped away. Local 10's Andrew Perez first brought us the story and joins us from Northeast Miami Dade with what neighbors think could be behind it all. You know, this is not an area that sees a whole lot of gun violence. Happening once is a cause for concern. Happening twice in two weeks is alarming. All is calm. It's just after midnight when all of a sudden it happens again. It was quite loud. To me, it was near my home. Lilian Lewis was in bed when those 10 shots went off. Caught on several different surveillance cameras. Moments later, you see two cars speed down North Spur Drive near Northeast Second Court. We never had any problem in this neighborhood. I raised my kids there, they're going up. Somebody's trying to scare us. Residents rattled by the shooting because it's the second one in just two weeks. The first time we reported a driver spotted speeding down, firing shots into the air here. No apparent target in sight. <laughs> The bullets go up, they got to come down, and they're going to come down with speed. They could hit someone. Every single neighbor we spoke with finding it hard to believe this second case is a coincidence. One man telling us after the first shooting, he got a blind proposal for his house the next day. Story after story of random offers from developers, but they don't know. They're not sure. Just trying to make sense of why this keeps happening now. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here, you know, and there's a lot of us. We're not going anywhere. So we want to catch them. We can't catch them if you call in the next day or two days later. We need you to call in right away. So Miami-Dade police did open up a case after that first incident, but they are encouraging people, if you hear gunshots like that, to call them, even if nobody's injured, even if you're unsure what you heard, it's better to have something like that documented so they can properly investigate it, maybe tie it to any other incidents. If you have any information about either of these cases, call Miami-Dade police right away. We're in Northeast Miami-Dade. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.